Right, it's another day. Doing a bit of mucking out. Charlie's going to run the trailers. Me and Keith will fed up a couple of the pens. The old man's on the loader. He's up bright and early today. Ah. Well, the guys are uh, doesn't need us all mucking out a shed, so the guys will muck out the shed. I'll litter these guys up. All right, Mister. Go on, girls. Come on, girls. How's that? Having to reverse the trailers through the middle because of the new concrete. We don't want to touch it, so Charlie's got it going there. All right, girls. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Who scratched that in there? It'll be a nice morning by the looks of things. Hey, yep. When the mornings start getting like this, they all know what's coming. They all got a bit of a spring in their step. Right, while we're here, checking the eyes. Good chance to check them. Charlie said you got a bad eye, bud. Careful. You got a bad eye, you want to show me? Let's have a look. You have, haven't you? We'll have a look at him later. Treatment for a bad eye. If it's not so bad like that, we get some uh, antibiotic cream and farmer will squirt it under his eyelid. And over the course of the day, it will run down and run down, and it should get rid of that. It's called silage eye, new forest disease. They give it a few names, actually, and it depends which part of the world you're in. Right, pen's ready to go. Uh, we'll get, there's a fork in there, got a bit, but uh, we will get these cows and calves move across when we get a minute. The farmer's gone to pick something up which uh, will be quite exciting. Something to try. I'm quite excited anyway. I think we got the right year for it as well. But we'll see more on that on another video. It won't be today, but yeah, as a grab those. Right at the top here. layer of straw and if you don't grab them right, I've got them right this time, if you, don't, if you haven't got them right they won't come down and then they'll fall down on you. They can still fall down even now. I need the windows to demist. Have you took any of that new Timothy out yet? Yeah, it's fantastic. Right, that old lady said she'd never ever seen, the year before we thought it was, you yeah. couldn't get any better. Yeah. That is even better that I reckon. Just it's Oh, that didn't work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow, get off. This is the uh, silage pile. We're, uh, we're hoping to get this cleaned out fully, actually. I don't know where we are. We're middle of February at the moment. Um, I'm pretty sure this pile will be completely gone. We've got some horrible stuff at the back. I think it's three years old. Uh, we won't even use it. It will um, get mixed in with the muck somehow. We'll pick it apart and get it mixed in. We've got a load, another load down the bottom still, and we've got another load up at one of the other farms. So we should be all right for grub. Doing this job is uh, 
forces you to be good at reversing. I don't know if she's seen the old man there. Oh, that was a bit. <laughs> I didn't know if she'd seen him then. She's seen him, I think. Is the old man in your way then? <laughs> Did you see him? Well, I couldn't see him, no. I was like, I was bibbing my own. I was like, no, no, no. Because I, I knew he wouldn't be looking. <laughs> yeah, not too bad in here today. So in this pan, these are all the latest and greatest. I don't know how many's in here. Nine or ten, I think. We've got three more that side. They're probably going to end up in here today, and then we'll move them all across into that pen there. The guys from that pen there will go to the end pen. They'll be the oldest. And their groups usually end up staying the same. You know, that group of cows and calves will end up being one of the groups this will be one of the groups and then we'll make it up as we go from there. Excuse me. Thank you. Ugh. Good luck. She's close, look. That's, that'll be today's. Good, good, good. 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 Ha ha. Got it. Got it. Go on, big boy. Um, we can have another couple of pots. Yeah. Good. 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 All right, I'm gonna make a mess of in that. In there. We've got space for a few more in there, so we're going to uh, sort out some more to go in there. They like it. They like being moved on to something new. All right, we'll get you some food in a minute. That back shed could hold a few more, so what we've done is put four or five who was in this newest shed. They've gone across there. Uh, some of the older ones, they've already got tags in and uh, farmers just bringing the last four out of uh, the newborns bit the uh, they're the very early uh, newest calves and that will leave us with only cows only in here then and, uh, yeah it'll be a bit easier we're going to move everything across into this middle shed then we'll take these gates down it's a bit easier littering up in the morning we can get another uh, 18 in that shed so uh, we've got a good week and a half of carving and moving calves into that shed before we have to do anything back in here. It worked really nice. They're all fighting in the back shed because uh, they haven't seen each other for two seconds. Got to make sure you've got the right mums and the right calves. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Three six two, and there's one more, which is three three six. Three three six. What? 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 Go on you. What? Yeah. I thought we'd have to manhandle all of them. Yeah. Go on, Ed. Go on. Go on, go on, go on. Keep going. Go on, Mum. Go on. Shh. Yeah. 
for this year is 322. She's been dibbling about all day, thinking about it, you know, in and out the sheds, then trying, then not. Uh, the old man popped a bubble about an hour and a half ago. Still nothing, so we're going to have a little peek, make sure everything's all right. Uh, she should have, you know, usually she should have produced one by now. So farmer's getting his stuff on. We get the machine out, everything ready, just in case. Farmer will have a feel inside, make sure calf is the right way round and all the rest of it. So uh, yeah, we'll have a little look. Got two legs, right, just put your hand in there and you'll just feel his legs are crossed over. Okay, I feel a foot. You feel his legs are crossed? Yeah. Can you feel them? Yes, I can. And that's probably all the problem is. Okay. Oh, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> That's the first time. Done you, Ralph. Yeah. Done you there, my friend. I don't know why. They tend to put the uh, right-hand rope on first. I always put some right on the red on the right, but not for any reason, mate. Then I. You just know. Yeah, I know. See, that's his foot's coming here. You feel yeah. that? Do you yeah. just feel? You can feel it. Look. Yeah. That's his foot, mate. And we just need it coming the other side. And she won't have him like that. No. I will bloody guarantee she won't have him like that. The other thing I need to do, mate, is make sure I've got this thing a big calf, an old boy. Is it? You know, he is a big calf. I'm going to bag all round this foot, mate. <laughs> She's a good care you can get two hands in her, mate. Yeah. If I'm honest. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. You wouldn't want it to be your missus, right? Oh, no. Let's get a little bit of pressure on there. That top, it's, it's just a little bit painful when you're doing this. Yeah. Just while you're getting lined up, but once you're lined up, it's not too bad. Not to the other one. You don't want to yank until you know you've got him squared up, Matty. Yeah. You get his feet. Put some lube. Not too bad, mate, to be fair. Just got to give a little bit of time. She's a good, good cow, ain't she? She needs to help me in that, if I'm honest. That's it, now. That one, man. I don't like to pull that out at the same time. Big calf, man. Oh, boy. I ain't got no pressure on that, really, boy. No. So we've got to go with her? Yeah, just... Oh boy. Give us his head. Oh shit, that was a big lot. Oh, he's a big boy, Jesus Christ. You want some cold, just tell. Is he alright? Yeah, he's got a bit of cold on his head, mate. Where he's going. That's it, mate. That's it. 
beast. Yeah. Just a loop. Hey, well done, girl. Right now, it's very important to wash everything off. No matter what time of the day it is, you've got to wash this stuff off straight away. This is 13. She's one of our stabilizers. She's bagging up. I don't think she's going to be today or tomorrow, but you know, it'd be nice to see some of Dave's calves. We have a look at the 8S there. Something on the back. That's for another video. We've got a load of stone on. We're going to take it down to our pad. We'll soon be ready for the next lot of concrete. I don't know what the day is. When, what day is it? Wednesday? I think it's only... Oh. Got the old 70 on. The old trusty 70. Got a problem with Charlie's tractor. Got a leak on that. On the four wheel drive shaft or something. So they're going to come and look at that. We get some time. They'll come down here with a the digger, they'll level all this off, they'll extend the pad just a little bit, and uh, yeah, these dry pads are uh, worth their weight in gold. You know, you can you know, we put a load of stuff there. Right, this is just a sneak peek. Look at this thing. This is a Colty Max 8 meter, and we're hoping to go with it in the spring, but there'll be a, its own video on this one. Let's see if I can drag it in this shed for the night. It's the biggest. It's gonna. It's gonna be a piece of equipment that has to be pulled behind the 8S. Finishing touches on the concrete pads. Concrete coming in about an hour's time, maybe less than. <laughs> Farmer said to me yesterday morning, none of the formers were up. It was uh, barely dug off. He's like, I got order, I got concrete coming for tomorrow. I was like, okay, we've got some work to do. I've been out of car for a couple of days. They've slowed down a bit. But uh, that didn't matter. Me and the farmer, we uh, we had a hell of a day yesterday. Let me come out here. I like to get in there and get them calves about, up and about, make sure they're not nothing's bad. But yeah, we sort of had a bit of an opportunity to uh, dig out the rest of this yard. So yeah, yesterday morning, none of this was ready. We uh, we dug them out, and then yesterday we spent the day putting the formers up, getting the levels right. Had a bit of an issue this morning. We uh, we had got them wrong, so it's all right. We just raised it up a little bit on this edge and uh, fixed it. So that'll be a good thing. Concrete lorry beer in a minute. We'll get them to straddle this beam, pull one side, then the other. Should be about uh, I think eight cubes each. So about 16 cubes of concrete coming. We put the boards up at the end, and uh, yeah, Keithy's got his uh, big Delbo Colty Max on, he's uh, going to be pumping up tyres, checking the machine over, greasing. Got some updates on that 8S for you as well, so it's looking like they might be uh, on to some of the fixes for that, so that would be good. No. 
Okay. You want some down to eight, so we've got a little bit more out, yeah? Another five seconds worth. Oh yeah. I don't know where she's gone. I don't know how long she'll be. She says she won't be long. Oh, she's gone. She's gone. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, she's gone. She's gone. Oh, 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 she's Yeah. Let's have a little look then. Let's have a little look at what the posh boys are driving. Oh, oh yeah. But yeah. Turn that off. Look at this thing. What do you reckon of this sound? I have no idea what any of it does. Yeah, harsh, isn't it? I better get out with my concrete. It'll kill me. Ah, it's beeping at me. What did I do? There you go. Might see a bit more out in the summer. That's Darren's wife. It's all been going on today. Charlie's been cleaning the windows on the uh, tractor there. We're going to get the big tyres put on that. She's uh, cleaned the inside for me as well. So uh, I've got a nice clean tractor to go at. Keith is going through his cultivator there, just checking that over, greasing it up. Going to put the big tyres on the 8S. He's just going to do that. We've been concreting as well. We got a little bit left over. We overestimated how much we wanted, really. But you always want enough, but we uh, we went a little bit too far. We've got a bucket full there, so we're just trying to figure out where we're going to put that. We'll just let it go off for another half an hour to an hour, and then we'll get the trail around the edges. And uh, yeah, these drains here, this one here and this one here, they're going to be soak away drains, so that's where the water will run to in the end. But they don't look too bad. They went down pretty nice, actually. When everyone makes a big effort it's easy it's easy work so we uh found another spot for our concrete here we had a but pretty much all bucket left so uh we had to think fast where we wanted to put it but thought um you know onto this way bridge you know the lorries and that scrap about trying to get on it so we thought we'd put a bit of, a better ramp in there for them that'll do well i think so this is where it's gone you can see the orange ramps that were there before but what that what would happen is as they try to get on just scratch away the planings you're forever putting planings back in not it wasn't a massive deal but you know we had some extra concrete left over so uh, we just knocked up these things they're not perfect they're not um, by any means perfect but uh, they're going to do the trick for getting things onto the ramp and there's a bit more less gradient so it's going to be a little bit easier getting things on and off the ramp there and uh, we'll just let these go off we'll knock the formers off Blend it all up with tarmac. Look uh, really nice, actually. What are you doing there, then? Fucking got her in the ditch, boy. You're going too fast, my friend. We've got to get a little picture, a little ditch picture. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Someone was asking me last uh, back of water what brand the uh, wheel chain was. There you go, Boston, Boston Garage Equipment. I don't know. It's a pretty nice one. It's, you know, it's really. It, I think Farmer paid strong money for it, but uh, it is a good one. Oh yeah. You see, little pick me up, little pick me up. <laughs> You're not allowed these. It's just <laughs> eating three. Three, <laughs> Batty. <laughs> There's, there's no more chocolate ice in there. Bump. Okay. 
Mm. Is he? You know how to cake? I'm good. Oh, I can't handle it, can he? Come in this morning. Tires are on. Darren, give me a hand with the tires. We're off to go and get the drill. We're going to go start and do a bit of. Uh, we're going to start drilling some oats over at Jim's. Is what we're going to do. So I'm going to go and hook the drill on, and yeah, we'll get started, and then I'll uh, I'll fill you in what we're doing. Here we are then, back on the drill. Farmer decided this morning. We've got Keithy out there. He's in the next field. Phone signal isn't great round here, and I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to have any mishaps. Uh, it's not our land, so I'm not going to put a drone up today. I'll try and get you some pictures of Keithy another day. We're uh, we're drilling oats, spring oats. There, uh, Isabel. Our variety's called Isabel. Done really well for us the last couple of years. So, yeah. We're going to put some in here at, um, at Jim's and uh, see how they do. Move my GPS because last year one thing that stood out a little bit was that the dome wasn't completely in the uh, central position of the tractor. So I've moved it a little bit. We're just going to see how it does. It looks okay on the scratch line, but I reckon I could go a tiny bit more. So in the next field, I'll try it. I'll move it a tiny bit more and should be about right. But uh, it ain't looking too bad. Uh, visually or anything else like that so we're going to leave it as is just drilling a tram line at the moment going to lift our belt marker up off it comes pick the drill up got to use the independent brakes turning around get yourself back lined up yeah, I didn't actually realise it's going to be. We were going to be straight back on it, if I'm honest. It was a bit of a. Keithy went and tried the cultivator and said it was pretty good. Get up to speed here. Yeah, so uh, oats going in on this side of the farm, wheat the other side of the farm there, and uh, yeah, we just swap it each year. Um, we had beans last year over there. Let a bit of the black grass back in, so we're going to try oats this time and uh, see how we get on with those. It's really pretty nice. This is straight into the discorator work that Keithy left in the summer. He has got the uh, big Dalbo springtime set on, leaving a pretty nice finish actually. Uh, we will have a closer look at that when we get a chance. Um, big bit of kit that, 8 metres. We're uh, pushing our luck a little bit in terms of horsepower to pull it. Uh, the tractor's heavy enough. Yeah, you just run out, run out of horsepower here when the going gets tough, you know. But uh, it seems to be going all right for him. He's getting on all right. The uh, just running up the uh, scratch line here. Quite a light, sandy uh, field. This one, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. This one is. Bit of black grass over that end. Farmer's been across and sprayed them all off. But uh, yeah, it's going all right. Drilling at 185 kilos per hectare. That's what we're set at. We're a little bit over, we're at 187, but that was as close as we were going to get. Yeah, we've got these one, two, three fields here of gyms to do. Then we're going home to do the fields at home. Keithy's going to run that all over the top of those fields at home. It should leave a nice finish. We're trying to get away from the power harrow, is what we're trying to do. Uh, it's a very heavy tool, it's leaving wheelings, uh, showing up in the corn well, as it comes up, you know. Yeah, we'll see how it does, really. Well, I think it's going to do a job, you know. In a wet time, is it going to be the tool? Don't know. What is the tool in a wet time? But we uh, just managed to get a ton of seed in the hopper. Oats are bulky, so they only just went in. They were poking out the top a little bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I haven't actually done any tractor work. I haven't done any tractor work for um, most of the winter, you know, do the old odd bit of muck carting and the old thing coming down, the odd bit of muck carting and that, but um, yeah, this is my first field work since we pretty much put the, <laughs> the drill away. I forgot to say, young Charlie, she went through the windows in here, oh, it's beautiful, I can see everything. She, she did that yesterday. Anyway, I appreciate it, thank you Charlie. It's a beautiful, you know. Oh, it's nothing worse than having dirty, uh, dirty windows. Put in 
Oh my god, manganese eyes, ow! Should use just about a turn to finish off. Just gonna check our job that we're doing. Just wanna make sure the soil's in really good condition actually. Ah oh, there's a little seed. It's perfectly covered over, that's how we want to see it. A few on top, but I think that's alright. Keeps leaving a bit lump of straw every now and again that's not ideal but uh, every now and again it just where the straw is left a bit long and uh, farmer is going to adjust the combine header next year so we can get it tighter to the floor so we're already on that just done a run out check seeds coming out nice and fine uh, steering's on drills down whatever you're going fill up your, uh, your drill's heavy. You've got a ton of seed in there as well as the weight of the drill. What time is it? 10 to 4. Darren's going to come over and take me over at uh, 6 o'clock. He's going to have a go for a couple of hours. We'll get him trained up on this thing so he knows what he's doing. And uh, yeah, we're going to try and get a little bit of that 40 acre done next door. Signal round here is not the best. Playing with the GPS a little bit. Once it loses signal, it, it tries to veer off. All you have to do, I just pick it back up, let it catch signal again, and then it goes again. But it's, 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 a, it's a known problem around this area, so. But apart from that, it's been going pretty well. Ooh, we're in a bit of a, it's a little bit more slimy here. Just gonna get the speed up a little bit. Field's changed a little bit. A little bit slimier. More silt, I imagine, in the soil, rather than clay. You know, stickiness. Uh, but it still goes for it pretty good, and it's not you know, too bad a job. But I need to concentrate, so I'm gonna get on with this. Once we're finished, we'll come back with another drilling video next time and see how we're getting on. We should have these done by tomorrow, I'd have thought, and then we'll be around the home area to get those uh, oats in, and then I don't know. I don't know if we'll be heading up to Alice's to drill barley. I don't know if it's too early for that. But uh, we'll be doing something, I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. Hope you like that one. If you're not subscribed, make sure you get yourself subscribed. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.